Okay, so uh, we're going to have a little postscript here uh, for the end of our lecture on convex uh, sets and convex combinations. Uh, that lecture was uh, starting to run a little bit long, so I decided that we would cut off the part on uh, concave functions and put them in the next lecture. Uh, but the reason for this postscript largely is that uh, there's something that I want to add to what we said in that lecture that I think is very useful and so I think it's a good idea to, to put this in here. And so uh, this postscript here is going to be about the parallel between what we've just been doing with the convex hull and convex combinations and things we did earlier where we were talking about the span of a set and the linear combinations. And so in both cases, of course, we're in a vector space. So Let's say that uh, V is a vector space here. And uh, we're going to have a, an arbitrary set. So S is going to be a subset of the vector space. And S is a, an arbitrary set. So S might be convex, might be a subspace, but it doesn't have to be. It could be any kind of a set. So we'll say here, not necessarily a convex set and not necessarily a subspace. Okay, so we have this arbitrary set and you'll recall that when we were talking about linear combinations and the span of a set, we had this notation for the span, and that was L of S. And now, when we were talking about convex sets, we had the notion of the convex hull of a set S, and we had this notation here, C-O-N-V. And this is uh, this is the span, so let's write that this way. This is the span, and this is the convex hull of S. But we can also say some additional things about the span, about the convex hull. Note, first of all, that uh, the uh, span is itself a subspace. So let's say is a subspace, and the convex hull is a convex set. Let's just write it that way there, kind of a little shorter, uh, in the vector space. Also, the span is the set of all linear combinations. So let's say this is the set of all linear combinations of vectors in S, and in fact, that's why we use the notation L of S, because it's a set of all linear combinations of vectors in S, and the convex hull is the set of all convex combinations of vectors in the set S. The span is also the intersection of all subspaces containing the set S as a subset, 
and the convex hull, we said, in fact, we defined the convex hull to be the intersection of all convex sets containing the set S. And finally, we can say this is the smallest subspace or convex set containing S. And in fact, these two statements are already defined to be the same thing. When we say the smallest uh, subspace, we mean the intersection of all subspaces. Same thing for convex set. So you can see in each of these the parallel between convex sets and subspaces between the convex hull, which is the intersection of all the convex sets that contain S, and the span of a set S, which is the intersection of all subspaces containing the set S. So for me, I find this a really powerful and useful uh, help in thinking about convex sets, convex hull, convex combinations, and uh, subspaces, the span, and linear combinations. And they're all almost the same thing, the only difference being that when we're talking about convex combinations, we're talking about linear combinations that are restricted to be linear combinations in which the coefficients are all non-negative and add up to one. And so that's simply a restriction on the linear combinations that make them convex combinations. And so that's, I think, a good summary, in a sense, of pretty much everything we've done, both in, in the, the uh, lecture on subspaces and the one we just did on convex sets and convex hull. So that's it for today's lecture. Um, see you all next time.